I'm gonna go long on the OSK. I'm gonna enter it here in front of you guys as well. I don't think this is making a bearish flag pattern to be honest, okay? Not only that, I see the one hour R side, like man, this is time for it to go up one wave. Yeah, I do see it going up. Like honestly, I have to see this as a as a possible move up right now, okay? Like I'm gonna buy 2,000 US right here, like on the spot. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna mark execute it, I don't care. Whoops. Actually, I don't wanna mark it execute, it's gonna cost me like $20. So I just stack on there as well. So what else is a really good long opportunity right now? I mean, you look at the bullishly diverging RSI here in the one hour, and you see yourself, okay, the one hour, the 90 minutes also definitely gonna tick up soon too. Now let's look at the volume. We'll say Neo's decent, like everything is looking like it's gonna blow up right now to the upside, right? XMR looks like it's gonna blow up to the upside too, but I don't really care about XMR. I'm gonna substitute that out for Ethereum Classic right now, actually. Not on my radar anymore. Uh, wow, Ethereum Classic just fell off of a cliff. Literally. Like, man, that's just rough. You also take Ethereum Classic, or take a look at Ethereum Classic, and you say, okay, well, it's pretty much in the golden pocket range right here, like roughly there. It's finding some support. So I will probably end up buying like the top volatile, volatile coins. Like EOS right now, I definitely want to get in on it, right? Like there's no way I don't want to get in on it. Like, I definitely want to get in on that. All right, I'll keep you guys updated. All right, my limit just filled there. I'm gonna buy another like 2,000 here at 404, like right around there, okay? And then that's $20,000 and that's it. I'm not putting my eggs in one basket, trust me, okay? I'm not putting my eggs in one basket, but that's kind of how it's gonna go. I'm in my underwear right now, just so you guys know, and a tank top, so I hope you guys don't mind. And I also just finished off at the gym, so I'm like incredibly tired right now. Yeah. You guys know I've gained uh, like almost 15 pounds of like muscle in the past two months. And I'm also running on the treadmill every single day. I can run a mile like pretty damn fast now. Anyways, I treat trading like the gym, right? Or the gym like trading, where I know that if I put in the hard work, it's eventually gonna pay off. Yeah, so let's just keep looking at what other coins are bullishly diverging. Like, man, like Ethereum is also bullishly diverging. I do have to admit this, okay? More than any other coin right now. Uh, way more than any other coin. But I don't really wanna go long on Ethereum right now. <laughs> like, man, I don't know. Take a look at the coins I've changed the most, and Ethereum is definitely one of them right now, right? Like 20%, like every coin that's pretty much uh, gone, gone a pretty decent amount. There we go. Look at this. I'm at five, like five hundred four. But it doesn't matter. Like the bulls are still trying to drive it up right now. Where am I gonna close this, guys? All right, let's do this. Okay, twenty thousand dollar position. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take the whole range. I'm only gonna take this whole thing and just be smart about it. This is most likely some sort of one, and this is like a nine wave structure, right? One, two, three, four, five. This is most likely a. This is B, and that's probably C up there, and that's that's waves one, that's one there, and one, two, three, four, five, big third wave down. This is most likely the very final wave coming down, but I don't care. I'm just gonna be really, really conservative and just go from pretty much right this range right there. I'll put mine at 545, 5.44, just to be safe. And I'll put down 3,999.99 and I voila. And now I got another $160,000 to play, guys. Like, do I really care? Not really. I don't really care at all. You know what I mean, guys? Like, it's okay. I'm not going to play these gigantic positions all the time, right? Like, and I also want to ladder accordingly. I mean, if I make 8%, think about it. Like, if I make 8% right now, okay, of, um, of my 20k position, well, that's $1,600 of profit. I'm gonna have a killer August month, guys. Okay, I see you guys later, okay? You guys know my rationale behind all this already, and that's what I'm gonna stick to. My stop loss is really low still, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys one other thing, like where I don't I don't have a specific stop loss yet, guys. People are like, oh, Philicon, don't you ever have a stop loss? He's like, yes. First of all, when I run out of, when I run out of capital, which is kind of never, 
right? And when I actually stop laddering, that's where I allocate my stop loss. But you guys gotta remember, my my trades, uh, my trade strategy is so like actually it could have been this this could have been the broken line like there's so many ways to look at it but my anyways my strategy is specifically catered to the way that i ladder so it's very difficult for me to lose trades based on the amount of um based on the amount of um laddering that i do right so yeah like i expect a retracement up here i'd be silly not to expect a retracement anyways i'll see you guys later bye how's it going so here we are Right, I'm just gonna start closing my position here, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start closing it. I, I thought I was in a much bigger position, but I guess not. So I'm just gonna start laddering some of my short, or my, um, like this right here, so. Sorry, I'm a little bit scatterbrained because I had tons of coffee, okay? Whoops, I have nothing to exchange, obviously. I don't think it's gonna spike up anymore right now. I think, I think we are gonna uptrend pretty heavily. Right, but not for a little bit. We're probably gonna end up downtrending first. Okay, that's the truth of what I think. Yeah, so I may as well just be wise and close my position here, okay? Because I really do have to go out, to be quite honest, for the day. And I don't really have time to be in this trade right here. I gotta get a light over here. I really do. Uh, yeah, I, I really miss my chance. Man, it kind of sucks. Like, it really does. It really, really sucks that I miss my chance to get, like, another percent, which is really important to me as a scalper, right? So, we are going to uptrend very heavily, in my opinion, like, for, like, to at least $5.48 up there. But that's okay, though. I'm not greedy. I, I want to spend, like, my day going out as well, right? So... There we go. I'm just gonna keep close. I'm just gonna mark it, execute it, honestly. Like, I don't have time for this today, okay, guys? I really don't have time, so I'm just gonna do this right here. There we go. Whatever profit I got, it's okay. I really don't mind it. Bam, guys. Bam. I called this. And here we go, guys. It's honestly as easy as that, okay? I'm gonna take my profit right here in front of you guys. Woo! I gotta start taking some money out of my margin account. <laughs> Every time I get to $200,000, I don't like it. So guys, here's my latest tweet, okay? As you guys can see, this month, guys, I'm already up $4,150 American. And it's only six days in the month, and I haven't really been trying, and I've only been trading actually three days total out of six. So I'm up 5,500 Canadian for the month already, which is kind of crazy if you think about it, right? Because I barely work. Um, I've only put in maybe, honestly, like 20 hours of work this month, not even, maybe 10 hours. So yeah, anyways, I'm done work for the day. Why the heck do I need to work more, guys, if I'm up this much already today? Hmm. Huh. See you guys later.